every day, some of the smartest researchers around the world are working on new cures and treatments for chronic kidney disease. Is the cure for kidney disease around the corner? Have they already found a medical breakthrough to reverse CKD? Is kidney disease going to stop killing people once and for all, finally? Let's find out with this top 5 incredible medical breakthroughs for kidney disease. Hello, this is Catherine. Welcome to Double O Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tap the notification bell to stay always updated. In today's video, I will show you the five most incredible breakthroughs in the world of treating and curing kidney disease. A lot of you ask in comment section about the developments of some of the most promising new treatments for kidney disease. So today we will take a look at these innovations. This is a very interesting topic. Maybe one of these therapies could be the one that ends kidney disease for good. I know that this may seem incredible right now, but just a few years ago, it was unthinkable that medicine could cure hepatitis C or HIV. But now these diseases are treatable, if not curable. Various types of cancer are now curable too. Yes, medical science has progressed at an incredible pace in the last decade. So the question is no more if there will be a cure for kidney disease, but when there will be a cure for kidney disease. And most importantly, are they already working on it? So let's see what are the top five most promising new treatments for kidney disease being developed right now. Number five, the implantable artificial kidney from the University of California. It's a recent news that the artificial kidney could be in patients by 2020. They call it the kidney project. Researchers from the University of California are testing a bioartificial kidney as a permanent solution to chronic kidney disease. This artificial kidney will completely replace the human kidney, giving patients in the advanced stage of chronic kidney disease an alternative to dialysis and transplant. What makes this breakthrough truly incredible is that, for the first time in medical history, there could be a real alternative to transplant and dialysis for CKD patients. This artificial kidney will be small enough to be completely implanted in the body and will replace the work of the failing kidneys. What it will basically do is to fish out unwanted molecules from the blood, like excess water, waste products and salt. So, in the near future, a nanofilter made of silicon will do the kidney's main job and totally avoid the patient the need for a dialysis machine. The bioartificial kidney will give ESRG patients new hope beyond the short-term solution of renal dialysis and the longer-term but impermanent solution of a living kidney transplant for which donor organs are limited. And there will be no need for immunosuppressant drugs and medications for the patient. Thanks to the funding the Kidney Project is receiving from several federal agencies, including the National Institute of Health, the NASA and the Department of Defense, the human trials are really near. Okay, so what is the current state of development of this breakthrough cure for kidney disease? The implantable artificial kidney is composed of two parts the hemofilter and the bioreactor. It needs both to fully function as a human kidney. The kidney project is in the midst of preclinical testing 
for the hemofilter, while preclinical testing for the bioreactor has just begun. Results from preclinical testing of the hemofilter are encouraging. Researchers have successfully implanted the hemofilter component into large minimal models for up to one month. The animals responded well without serious complications. One study has even managed to implant artificial kidneys into animals that could then pass urine. They say they have collected enough preclinical data to apply for the first clinical trial on humans of the entire implantable artificial kidney. These pre-trials are anticipated to conclude in 2020 or in 2021. Then there will be the human trials conducted on end-stage renal disease patients. And since the trials on humans are so close, residents of the US willing to be selected to test the bioartificial implantable kidney can now submit their information. The researchers from the kidney project will be reviewing every single candidature, but obviously not everyone will be selected. If you are interested in sending them your information, I've added a link in the description where you can find all the info to do so. Number four, cardiceps. Okay, now that we have seen the miracle treatment from the future, let's talk about the most promising remedy from the past. A remedy that has been used for over 4,000 years in China and that is now becoming popular even here in Europe and in the US, thanks to several new studies proving its benefits. Cordyceps, also known as Chinese caterpillar fungus, are very particular mushrooms with a lot of potential for people with kidney disease. Cordyceps have very interesting properties in fighting inflammation, fighting tumors, in reducing fatigue and boosting strength and sex drive. Cardiceps also contain a special type of sugar that may help treat diabetes. This type of sugar mimics the action of insulin, keeping blood sugar levels within a healthy range. And there is also evidence about these claims, since numerous studies are being performed today on this surprising remedy. And what about kidney disease. In review of 22 studies on cardiceps, almost 1,000 patients were found to have significantly lower their creatinine levels with the use of cordyceps. Now, these patients were not on dialysis and were still following the prescribed therapies for kidney disease. So these patients greatly reduced their creatinine levels, reduced proteinuria and also hemoglobin and serum albumin levels. This basically means an all-around improvement in kidney health and kidney function. While I was reading these numbers, I was almost jumping around for the happiness. I mean, this remedy could be not just promising, it could be a life changer for a lot of people with kidney disease. When we talk about CKD, we are talking about a chronic progressive disease. So the numbers in the analysis like creatinine, GFR, proteinuria are supposed to become worse over the years. Cardiceps is a remedy that has actually shown the possibility of changing this and making the kidneys gain back their function over the years. Is this the cure that can actually reverse kidney disease? 
The problem with all these researches is that while cordyceps is a very ancient remedy, scientists started to carefully study it just recently. And these studies take years to produce significant results. So today, these results aren't still conclusive. Therefore, no final scientific conclusions could be made about the effects of cordyceps on kidney function in people with chronic kidney disease. Still, a lot of people are already using cordyceps while the studies on these ancient remedies go on. Cordyceps are in fact already approved in China for the treatment of arrhythmia, a cardiac condition and are also approved in the US by the FDA, so they are considered safe. This means that you can already find them on the shelves or on Amazon, since they are basically considered supplements and have no significant side effects. The dosage commonly used in human research is 1000 to 3000 milligrams per day. If you want to try cordyceps or any other innovative remedy, be sure to talk to your doctor first. Number 3. GKT831 The miracle drug from Australia for diabetic kidney disease. GKT831 is actually undergoing human trials. The expectations are sky high for this new therapy since it could change the lives of over 29 million people. What are the benefits for the patients of this new therapy? This 2 a day pill could actually stop diabetes from turning into chronic kidney disease and stop the progression of the disease in people already suffering from DKD, diabetic kidney disease. I want to explain why I think this drug will be a lifesaver for many. This is the first time that the field is taking a true step back, not just focusing on palliatives and life support, but re-examining where they are in regard to what they know. Yes, this time scientists are looking for an actual solution, a real treatment. This can represent one of the best avenues for further developments. The human trials led by Professor Mark Cooper are currently taking place in Australia. Three things happen in the diabetic kidney, said Professor Cooper to the Australian media. It gets inflamed, it scars, and it leaks the protein albumin. We have already shown that this drug stops the inflammation, stops protein leaking, and stops the scarring. In particular, it is the scarring that causes kidney failure. The test subjects will be checked for albumin in the urine before and after the 12 months trial. They will be administered either this innovative NOx inhibitor drug or placebo. People will now be able to avoid kidney dialysis, suffer less blindness, avoid heart attacks, added Professor Cooper. This study is taking place at 14 facilities across Australia and will last 12 months. Now, you may want to know, when is this incredible new treatment going to be available? The results of the trials on human patients will be conclusive in 2020. So, the drug may be available shortly after that. Number 2. The kidney on a chip. This is may be one of the most important breakthrough in the history of the research on kidney disease. 
One of the biggest problems in finding a cure for kidney disease is the difficulty of testing new drugs outside the human body. This is why the researchers at UW Medicine in Seattle have grown human kidney glomerulus in the lab. They called it the kidney on a chip and it's the size of a credit card. <laughs> what the researchers did here is taking kidney stem cells and allowing them to actually grow kidney structures outside the human body. The kidney on a chip is actually being tested not just on Earth, but on the International Space Station too. Researchers are trying to understand how microgravity worsens kidney health back here on planet Earth. And while this particular innovation will not be directly used to improve the health of the patients, its benefits for the research on kidney disease will be invaluable. And this is what really matters in curing kidney disease once and for all. But how does it work? This is an actually working glomerulus, the filtering unit of the kidney. And it can work outside the human body. Scientists will be able to test new drugs and treatments without having to risk the lives of patients and without the uncertainty of having to deal with animals. It will allow to test new, more risky but maybe more effective treatments in a way nobody could have done it in the past. Is the treatment that will ultimately cure kidney disease going to be tested on one of these kidney on a chip? Number one, the most promising new treatment for kidney disease is stem cells. Stem cell based therapy is the most promising new treatment in my opinion. First of all, because it can actually repair the kidneys even if the damage is really severe, like for stage 5 kidney disease patients. And second, because it's already proven to work. The lives of thousands of children with leukemia have been saved thanks to the use of blood stem cells. Diseases that were incurable like type 1 diabetes, heart disease, osteoarthritis, spinal cord injuries, Parkinson's disease and even cancer are now being successfully treated with stem cell therapies. It's a big achievement and this means that there are large sums of money being spent on the development of stem cell therapies for other diseases like kidney disease. And while there are currently no FDA approved treatments for kidney disease that use stem cells, researchers from the Harvard Stem Cell Institute are actually testing several new therapies on humans. They say that a stem cell therapy for disease related kidney damage has the potential to eliminate the need for dialysis. On the long term, they may actually be able to even create a full working artificial kidney not made from silicon filters and plastic but from the actual cells of the receiver patient. This is way beyond just repairing kidney damage using stem cells. This would mean being able to self-transplant a new kidney created in laboratory from our own DNA and stem cells. No risk of rejection and no necessity for taking rejection drugs every day and no endless transplant list anymore. Now this may seem science fiction today but given the huge success stem cells have already achieved in curing once incurable diseases, big and important clinical trials are underway for curing kidney disease 
and researchers are very optimistic about finding an actual cure. Let's not forget that the kidney is one of the organs of our body with the greatest capacity to regenerate after damage. And stem cell based therapy will greatly benefit from this peculiarity. Now, with the exception of cordyceps, all these cures and treatments are not going to be available for years. But there are still things you can do right now to improve your kidney health and to lower creatinine levels by yourself. Actually, a lot of people here on Double O Kidney are using the program I have on my phone right here to improve their renal function. This program is so effective that there are people who have been able to use it to actually reverse their kidney disease. I'm leaving a link here if you want to know more about it and maybe to give it a try. Wishing you all the best. Thank you for watching. This is all for today.